I want to show you how you can reflect an object and then put it back together again as a whole object. So I'm going to choose the ellipse tool and I'm just going to draw out a circle. One thing to note is that I have a fill and I do not have a stroke. Then I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to line up so that I've got exactly in the center and I'm go just going to draw another shape over it. I'm going to select both shapes and now choose the Shape Builder tool and hold the Alt or Option key down. Notice that my little cursor changes to a minus. Hold it and drag it through both pieces. They're now gone and all I have is this half. But I'd like to get this half back into one whole shape again. So I want to pick the rotate tool, which is, excuse me, the reflect tool, which is here. And its shortcut key is O. There are several different ways to do this. If I were to alt click and be very careful that I was right on the edge, the path, but right in the center of the path, I could alt click and it would reflect what I was doing and then I could say copy and click OK and join them. Let me undo that. Here's another way. I'm going to clear this by selecting it and then getting back to the reflect tool. I can also click an alt click, actually click anywhere along this line, either at the path. Let's do that next. That sets my point. Now I'm going to hold the alt key and start dragging. Notice that this drags up and if I press the shift key, it snaps back into itself. So I have the alt and the shift key selected. If I were on the Mac, it would be the Shift key and the Option key. Let go, and I've got my two halves. I'm going to now choose the Shape Builder tool again. Make sure that I've got both halves selected. Now I have the plus cursor. I'm just going to drag through both of them, and I have one entire shape. 